Today's video is brought to you by Dark Coffee. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. So we're back at it with recreating an old artwork. Today we're gonna recreate an old college mascot. So I found one on Google and we're gonna turn it into a modern icon. So I'll leave a link below to the iPad that I'm using and the Apple Pencil as well as the original mascot that I found on a Google search. So I'm a huge fan of characters, like cartoon characters, mascots, etc. really. Um, so this was a fun project to work on. One tip that I have for Procreate that I didn't touch on in the video is your canvas size. So make sure your canvas size is a high enough resolution and is 300 dpi. That way you avoid getting those blurry lines. So if you're trying to draw things and you keep getting a blurry line edge, um, especially with the monoline or other brushes, that uh, bump up that canvas size. That might solve it. and it just keeps the resolution high. So try that out. Hopefully that solves your problem if you're having it. If not, keep drawing. Um, tag me on Twitter or Instagram on some of your stuff. I'd love to see it. And great. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, so I found this mascot on a quick Google search of retro hawk mascots. Um, found out that it is Niagara University, um, so shout out to them. So we're just going to recreate it here, uh, pasting it in. Just, I flipped it around because I wanted it to have a different profile. Um, so to start my sketching process, I'm not going to copy this exactly, but I'm really just looking for the shape of it, um, how it's laid out. So I'm going to lower that picture to whatever you're comfortable with really if you're doing this um, just so you can see it but um, it's not too distracting as well because I'm gonna I'm gonna change them some things up here uh, make it a little more modern so for my sketching I'm gonna be using the procreate pencil uh, it's gonna be in blue again and this procreate pencil is standard I haven't made any changes to it so um, if you're following along, just go ahead and click that brush, and I'm going to lower this opacity down of the brush just for sketching lines uh, so they aren't so hard. Um, and it's going to get started. So, make it a few changes here, but overall, kind of try and make it look similar. Here's an example, I uh, am trying to do this leg, this back leg here, and in the original image, it's very vertical. Um, I wanted to change it up, so I uh, had my sketch done and I'm, I added a new layer on top just so I could practice. And if I don't like what I'm doing here, I can always go back to the original sketch layer. Um, but most of the time I'll add a new layer just so it's not on the same. If I want to go back, it's easier for me. So I'm just Trying to change the direction of that foot, make it a little bit more like a vertical. In the original one, it, it's like very straight up and down. It, I'm not sure why, but um, I'm just going to change that up here. So sometimes I'll use a selection tool to grab things, change the direction. Um, obviously, <laughs> didn't like how it looked there. So um, this is where some of your own like skills really come into play when you want to change things up and. Um, look at references of other similar examples of what you're going for and that, that's just something huge I would recommend doing so um, feet arms and legs and faces are really quite difficult especially if you're going for kind of a realistic um, approach if you're doing kind of abstract I mean that might be a lot easier but I'm trying to make it look like it's kind of stomping here so like the heel up is what I'm going for. And I'm, I'm liking how this is looking here, so I think I'm gonna roll with this kind of direction. Okay, 
Okay, here's another thing that I, I wasn't really digging on that original image was the, the second arm, um, the, I guess on uh, the right arm of the hawk. Uh, I didn't like how it was tucked behind. I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna have it go up and I'm gonna have it holding a flag since that's like a huge thing with college um, or mascots is the, the flags. So I wanted to do that. Um, I've seen some cool examples of it done. So I, I wanted to make this hawk carrying the flag. And so I changed that up um, and I'm on a second sketch layer. What I did is I copied the entire sketch layer and pasted it onto a new one uh, and just put version two on there. So this is what I'm referring to. Sometimes you gotta sketch things out multiple times before you're happy, but ultimately just take your time. Um, don't, don't rush it because it'll It'll bite you later if, uh, if you skipped over some parts that you really weren't happy with. So I'm just sketching the hand right here. Um, and like I said, hands are difficult, kind of making them look realistic. And oftentimes I look at my own, I make the pose that I'm trying to go for with my own hand and just kind of copy that in a way. And I know this character has only got four fingers, but you can go with it. All right, my sketch is done. I'm really liking how this looks. Um, that sketch took me about an hour to do. So I, I know I sped it up here in the video, but um, take your time again. I can't stress that enough until you're happy with it. So I'm gonna move on to step number two, which is the line art. So lowering the layer of the sketch layer opacity, and I'm gonna move on to uh, my, my inking brush. So using a mono line here, I'm gonna go through the settings in a second, I'm gonna use black. And this is a standard Procreate brush. Um, I've tweet tweaked it a little bit. So if you wanna follow and make the same exact brush settings, I'm gonna go through it right here. This is a great brush for this kind of thing, like mascots or logos, just where you don't need a huge um, variety in line weight, so kind of old school retro mascots are like that um, and it plays really well with the studio pen so I'm gonna use that one and I'll show you those settings as well and um, those are really my go-to brushes for line work none of this stuff down here that I've changed it's all the same so you don't need to mess with that stuff if you're trying to make the same brush but here's my studio pen I'm gonna run through those settings I have made some tweaks to this and um, feel free to copy it. And I'm actually going to see what happens. I, I like to tweak these occasionally. Um, and I'm going to see what happens here. And if, if you weren't aware, they give you this test side over here. So you can test out those new settings. Alright, switching back to the monoline and gonna get started with some line work here. Ooh, way too big, way too big. Let's go down to like 4%. And take your time with these lines double tap to undo if you're not happy with it because these are your final lines and they're going to be very visible so and disregard the dot I keep doing that because of my I don't wear the drawing gloves so that's just what I deal with but
Okay, lines are done for the most part. I'm gonna go back and add a couple things, but um, here's the before. So you, you can see the similarities, but also I've added some differences, which wasn't my intent to copy 100%. So um, just a recreation, new model, new life. But here's the lines. So on these retro mascots, we don't have shadows or highlights so that step is completely gone so we're really just going to jump to the color um, start adding color so remember to make your line art a reference layer that way you can drop the color in on its own layer and which helps with shadows i know we're not going to do them how i just said that but it's just a good practice so i found this grayish color that i liked um, gonna work with that and i'm gonna keep the purple because that's what the original one was so I don't want to totally veer from those colors. So I, I'm thinking that this purple might be too bright, so I'm going to lower the saturation down, give it a little bit more of a lighter color. And do I like the flag purple too? Yeah, I think I'll keep the flag purple. And here, since like I didn't connect the black lines just for the look, I can't drop the color in there. So I'm gonna manually go in and color this in with the brush. And that should be the only section that I have to do that. Sometimes just how the design plays out. Um, I didn't wanna connect those lines. I thought it would make it look a little too, I don't know, I liked the taper edge between the beak and the eye, eyebrow. And sometimes on these characters, I like to go around the outside again with the studio, or this actually, the model line brush, and just add some thicker weight to the lines, especially in spots that there'd be a little bit more shadows. Um, this is a way to get around actually doing a full shadow layer. Just having that thicker weight kind of gives it more, like a, almost like an outline, kind of makes the character pop a little bit more. Um, sometimes if it makes too much black like that, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, yeah, it just helps helps it pop a little bit more. And this mascot doesn't have a ton of detail, so it's I would call simple minimalist, and that's part of the fun part about making these so definitely recommend trying one if you there's a ton of really cool retro mascots out there when I was doing the search for this one I found some really cool ones I might have to do some more videos on them but definitely recommend trying this again this is in procreate I'm using all the standard stuff so nothing no additions that you need to get some result like this it's really just sketch do some line work and color. No shadows or highlights, which is always a, makes the process a little bit easier. But feel free to add them too. So, all right, I'm gonna add the text for the the sweater here. So I'm gonna go with the UN, um, which I believe this original mascot was from University of Niagara Falls um, or Niagara. So let's find a kind of a older looking font there. Okay, that one looks good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna warp it a little bit just so it looks like it's curving around the chest of the sweater there. Okay, and I just added a little shadow underneath um, to give it a little bit of a dimension, if you will. Um, and that's it, no shadows, no highlights. It's really quite simple to make these old school mascots and give them some new life, so. Thanks for sticking around. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something again. Just uh, doing this one, so I learned some things. I'm terrible at talking to camera, if you can't tell. Uh, 
and I just enjoy putting content out there that hopefully some people are enjoying and uh, getting inspired by. This stuff might look complicated, but when you sit down and just spend some time, really put your time into those sketches. Um, that's where it pays off, is just playing around. And you see I did two different versions. I didn't like the first version, so I copied, pasted, and started over um, with that, that arm. Get that flag going. <laughs> so yeah, just take your time on that. Um, and if you're struggling, one thing that I always do is I stop, walk away from it for a little bit, um, and just try, try, come back, try a couple new things, and uh, look at references, but don't get caught up in them. Sometimes I fall into this uh, rabbit hole a lot where I get too consumed with examples and what I'm gonna make, and I just need to stop with that and just get drawing. So uh, you might surprise yourself with what you draw. So really, uh, there's, there's, just try it out and uh, comment below if you have any further questions. If these are kind of moving too fast, I know I threw the time lapse in there. Um, I just don't want to keep it. I just want to keep the content moving um, and not get too stale. So if those time lapses are kind of throwing off the tutorial vibe, uh, let me know and I'll uh, rework on the next one. But thanks again for watching. I'd love a like and subscribe because I plan on keeping up with the two videos a week ish. And uh, thanks again. And as always, peace.